Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today I came with another one informative video regarding OIT speaking. Before going to the OIT content, I would like to introduce my new online academy. It's completely online and um, I can tell you that we have some expert OIT tutors with us and they are dedicated with the time management and for expert um, teaching. So we are rendering OET uh, teaching for all four modules, writing, speaking, listening, as well as reading. And the materials will be provided with uh, your tutors. Whenever you will join on the first day itself, we will allot you the tutors as well as we will provide you the materials. And we have a small website and it will be accessible for you to find out your OET materials. So we have recent exam question papers for writing and speaking. For listening and reading, we will provide you some standard questionnaires and you can practice with your tutors. There will be one is to one attention. Uh, there are no common classes or group discussions, but there will be monthly later there will be weekly zoom meetings to discuss your regarding your doubts regarding all four modules so far now there will be individual one is to one tutors will be available so that's also according according to your time i mean sometime maybe it will not be um, it will not be possible for you to attend daily so maybe you will prefer like weekends or your off day so it is um, always acceptable to discuss with your tutor to um, do the schedule so as per your preferred time so you can inform to the tutors and we are um, uh, like mostly um, dedicating or we are mostly choosing uh, the students uh, I mean choosing the tutors for the students according to their um, like whether they are exam oriented students or they are like beginners or even um, some some used to request for the basic classes but some they don't want the basic classes straight away they can go to the exam classes so according to those priorities we used to uh, segregate as, uh, tutors and another one more choice is there according to the places where you reside some of them you are in middle east some of you are in european countries some of you are in india so the time period i mean the time zone will be difficult for someone to attend the classes so we prefer uh, like uh, according to the um, res residents, I mean, according to the place where the tutors are residing as well as the students. So it will be easy for you both to have the classes or for the scheduling, the timing. So uh, these are the uh, common information regarding the academy. And if you want to join, you can uh, just mail us or you can just WhatsApp in the given phone number so that you will be um you will get adequate information for the more information okay so another one more thing so it's like we have already the oet guides for all four modules especially writing and speaking so writing uh, it's just like my letters there are 100 oet letters 75 are or like reason exam questions from 2021 22 23 uh, like reason exam questions plus there are standard letters okay according to the updates actually after 2021 there were no more um, updates in OET but there are some few few changes uh, it's ha happened like in especially in writing speaking there are no more changes only they have introduced the non scenario as according to that I prepared uh, one booklet it is 1.4 kg weight now nearly 350 pages will be there and there will be OET, basic OET in the starting. And there will be uh, like OET um, grammar, not much grammar, but it's related to OET grammar. Then far from starting to ending, how you have to segregate the data and how you have to write the letter, everything it is included there. As well as, as I told you, 75 recent exam questions plus standard, standard answer letters, then 25 like non-medical letters so once in a blue moon you can expect such type of letters uh, in your exam so it's like totally 100 uh, exam questions and sorry exam questions as well as the non-medical question plus answer letters are there speaking regarding speaking in the starting there are just like a small k plus usb and the starting there will be uh, like the common um example videos like how you can get through from the starting 
how it is like a basic basic videos are there like 25 basic videos are there in the usb then in the guide you can see 100 reason exam questions okay it's all exam questions since 2021 until now and um, there are um, uh, like 75 videos in the usb you can correlate with the questionnaires in the guide so it will be easy for you to understand or you can it is easy for you to prepare how you can talk during the role play so that's that's all regarding the guides and if you want to purchase the guide so you can message in the same number and we will provide you the details inside india the delivery charge will be free but outside india the delivery charge is applicable okay so these all are regarding my OET channel and as well as the academy and the guides okay so we will go to the exact content that is OET speaking so today what I want to tell you that regarding speaking actually I can tell you that this is the easiest mo module in OET uh, where you can score B score B I mean very easily uh, like there are some criteria there are many criteria so you have to keep it in mind but if you keep all qualities in your mind while talking to the interlocutor of course you can get the B score but before the role play presentation there is one more important thing you have to maintain is time management during three minutes preparation okay so in the three minutes preparation time this is the core like i can tell you that it is a core stone of oet speaking or else it is a core stone of your oet score in um speaking example if you got easy question but you didn't prepare very well during three minutes preparation time you could not uh, like explain very much or you can you could not perform very well during the exam because you will search for the sentences you will search for the task but you will not listen to the interlocutor maybe you will ask double question already what they already explained to you so that doesn't mean that um, like you did well uh, because there should be a consequence because it is a dialogue it's not a monologue it is a dialogue so the um, uh, examiner or the evaluator will see how the flow is so it don't it, i could not tell that it is completely depend upon the grammar rather the presentation it is very much important so you have to be realistic so you should not think that it's a piece of paper something it's written over there and you have to read it nothing like that you have to be realistic and think that who is sitting in front of you is the real patient and um, the same time keep it in your mind there is only five minutes because sometimes some students used to think that it's a real scenario and they will be deeply involved in the conversation but time will not be suitable for them so you have to think about the time as well as the content and be realistic so for some of some of the students the the, the sound and the volume or the um, like the style will not be like suitable to act as a um uh, like a nurse i mean like a drama uh, not to worry i'm not telling that you have to be modulate your um, sound or the presentation but you can be realistic like a sympathetic okay you can be sympathetic so how you can sympathetic no need to act in front of them but yes at least you can tell that oh no need to worry i'm here to help you something like that you can just change the tone okay i'm not telling that completely how to change your tone but you can just be uh, like sympathetic when you are talking to a patient so of course if you are getting like a clinic situation or if it is a community health clinic or hospital scenario outside the operation theater wherever so you are facing a patient and the person has a concern so as a nurse as a healthcare professional you have to be realistic and you have to be sympathetic that's not like the thing so it's not like empathetic so no need to cry with them but they have to be sympathetic that is only the thing and uh two to three minutes preparation time you have to be um like you have to imagine what is the scenario example if you are in emergency department so you have to think that it is emergency department so you have to be fast enough to talk and to get a thing and um uh, more like clear explanation should be there and clear history collection is important in emergency department as well as the patient will be uh, like very panic in emergency department right so you have to be more uh, like sympathetic as well as you have to give more reassurance in this type of role play example if you're getting a, a scenario in school he health clinic so these many things will not happen in that role play because you are sitting in a school and it's a clinic and the students they came with some minor ailments or some concern 
even though they have concern it is not emergency so the conversation will be completely different according to the setting so the first of all you have to know about the setting where you are and what is your position next one you have to get complete detail from the patient and whenever they have given it's like like, like more questionnaires like onset uh, like interaction the severity uh, the like previous treatment something like that maybe there are like four or five questions in inside one bracket don't ask all questions at it at this i mean in a straight uh, way you can split the questions like two or three questions together or else the, um, the interlocutor will get confusion like practically the patient will get confusion and they could not answer for all questions some interlocutors used to give all answers uh, without the question without asking question do you have any concern or what is your exact problem if you ask this question sometimes they used to give all answers so what you have to do at the time you can just like repeat back repeat back okay so from your conversation i came to know that uh, you got this such and such and so and so on so like that you have to cover all the content don't skip any content during the role play and the next one there is known scenario so every students used to get confusion what is known and where is unknown scenarios in role play card so known case means already you have examined the um, patient and uh, there is a pause like examined then you are start restarting the statement so there are no need for your introduction but what you have to do during three minutes preparation time you have to ask patient's name or if there's related you have to ask both names and you have to write it over the paper i will give you some tips um, if you find out it's already a known case what you have to do above your first um, task just write well example if the patient's name is thomas well mr thomas thank you that's all just you can write over there so after three minutes preparation time when you will start you will not get a start in trouble you can start like well mr thomas thank you for allowing me to examine your arm so like that you can continue another one more thing it's like a discharge procedure um, of course you will get one discharge procedure in that case what you have to do under the last uh, task you can write if you don't have that's uh, actually the sentence if you don't have any other question may i proceed with the discharge process you can just write may i proceed with the senna so it will be a reminder for you to conclude very clearly that you are proceeding to the discharge process okay see so these are all the like small small tips and these every tips will be there in the guide as well uh, do i mean uh, in the usb you can see how you have to start how you have to end the conversation in each and every um, questionnaires have the video the specific video so how we have to present okay so it will be suitable if you are weak in speaking then uh, another one more thing like if you are comes to um get a, a card with the parent like mother or father with the baby uh, here you have to be more sympathetic you have to give more reassurance to them as you know that parents are very sensible if the um, like if baby gets sick and admitted in the hospital or even getting discharged back to home so they will have more concern so you have to keep it everything in your mind and when you are giving the reassurance you have to be careful and in the question paper maybe only one time they used to mention that reassure the client or reassure the mother but you have to give uh, like whenever there is it is required you have to reassure them especially in the starting and the ending okay so in every role play card there will be some places where you can give the reassurance another one more thing where you have to tell regarding the pamphlet or leaflet it will not be given in your card so it should be from you example if you are explaining any procedure like clexin administration insulin administration baby monitoring or uh, like rps monitoring something like that like simple procedures if you are explaining to the uh, patient there you can tell regarding the pamphlet i will give you the pamphlet in which picture wise explanations are given so it will be useful for you to follow at your home so it's like a simple reassurance okay it's like additional sentences and um, so this is this all the regarding the pamphlets and leaflets and if if you have if you are getting any conditions or any uh, like future surgery or something like that you can use the same thing like iron deficiency anemia so you can just tell that these all the fruits are rich in iron so you can give the pamphlet or leaflet so like that okay so like this like simple simple tips if you practice it will be very really easy to score b in speaking okay 
and these all tips we use we use to discuss during our uh, like um, tutors meeting so they will be aware about all these points so whenever you will join with our academy and there will be monthly meeting the starting time there will be monthly meeting so that i can explain you as well if you have any questions and later on there will be like a weekly uh, zoom meeting so it will be accessible and for listening and reading uh, there are some tutors those who are expert in that and they can explain you very well regarding the concerns regarding reading and listening as well as the answer finding techniques and what are the tips you have to keep it in mind like especially if you are doing b and c section and um, and if you have any doubts regarding any of the module you can um, just message um, in our telegram group i will keep the link in the description and you can find that and we actually we have like a whatsapp channel as well in that i used to uh, keep some of the videos important videos especially when you are nearing your exam it will be useful for you and if you are subscribing it will be useful for you and any of you want to join with our academy is always welcome and you can uh, reach in that number it is in the description box please message us and get the information and if anyone wants to join to teach OET and those who are cleared already with the B squad you can message as well we need some more tutors in even maybe in future so you can just send your OET cards and we will be touch with you okay I hope this video is helpful for you I will come with an another informative video until then bye